Hello everyone, welcome back to another video, and in this video I'm going to be teaching you how to make a game. Basically, like, you guess the picture, and it'll let you inside of it. So, first of all, uh, you don't have to do this. I'm just doing this because I kind of want to make my map better. So basically, your base plate is this big blob that you start out with as soon as you make the game. So, as you can see, I have this big base plate. Um, I'm going to delete it. You do not need to. Um, it's not really going to do anything important if you don't delete it, but, um, I'm just going to make a basic platform, alright? Um, let's see. I'll make it blue, because, you know, and I'll make it grass, and I'll go with fabric. This doesn't change anything, so fabric is basically here. I'll go through all the materials. We have brick, we have cobblestone, we have concrete. We have quartered metal, or quartered metal, I don't know. Diamond plate right here, which is like the little metal pieces down there. We have fabric, which is basically like wool, you know. And then we have foil. Foils, eh, I feel like I'd use it for water. Then we have a force field. Force fields would be used for hitboxes. Um, we will go over hitboxes later in the future, but for now, there are not going to be any um, you know, hip boxes needed. Um, then we also have this, um, you know, wait. So we have glass. And the only way for glass to work is you have to change the transparency. I'll go over that later. Once we get to, like, the real scripting. And then we have granite. We have grass. We have ice. We have marble, we have metal, neon, pebble, <laughs> and plastic. Plastic's like the starter block. Then we have wood, also wood planks. So I think I'm actually gonna go with um, fabric. Fabric is so much. Also, can we get a shout out right here to Mr. I own core blocks right here? Can we get a little shout out? Um, yeah, little shout out to Ion Roblox. I'll shout him out. All right. Um, here, let me tell him. Just tell me if you need any help in game. So then I'll check, check live chat. Okay, so anyways, back to this. So, um, basically we also have all these colors. I can't go over all of them. That I'll take hours or not hours all it'll take a while anyways i'm just gonna scale this to make it bigger with a scaling tool a scaling tool you can make it bigger you can make it flatter you can make it you know decide more i'm just gonna start off basic now you might think to yourself how do i get a spawn piece because i need to make it so like you can spawn in now that isn't that hard all you need to do is basically, um, hmm, what's it called? Where is it? You need to find model at the top. So you'll have home, model, test, view, and plugins. But you're going to need to go to model. Once you go to model, you can also change like physics. You can change to geometric. I would stay on geometric because it's kind of good. Then we have the align tool. We have create. We have show welds and stuff, draw on top. Those are a bit different to this stuff, but what we're going to do is we're gonna get the spawn. We also right here have effects like smoke, as you can see, it makes a smoke. And then we can change the opacity, the size, and yeah, but we don't need to get into that. But we could do that if we want to later. I could show you how you could create one if you say something. So basically, um, to make your decal, I mean, like your spawn location look good and like invisible, you're basically going to make it so, make sure it's anchored, by the way, because this thing needs to be anchored or else it will probably fall through the ground. So then you're going to make it so you're going to scroll down to collision right here, and you're going to make it so you cannot collide with it. That means you cannot touch it. Now, if we go into our workspace, you can see that we have our decal right here. 
Now, we do not want them to see the spawn, so I'm going to delete the decal. You do not have to do this. And I'm also going to flatten it and make it transparent so that no one can see it. Now, as you can see, if I press play, well, I didn't anchor. Yep, that is all my fault. I did not anchor that. Sorry about that. Let me just anchor that. And yeah, as you can see, um, yep, as you can see, it spawned on the spawn point, and now I can walk around in our map. So this is basically our map right now. I'm just going to name this floor. You do not have to. To name it, just right click on it, and then click rename, or just click F2. So now we need to get into like the basic building part. Um, what do I want on the sides? I kind of want some like wood under the, and then I want some like a window over it. You do not have to do this. You can just put a window or anything. So just basically go ahead, free build, and yeah. Um, I'll skip until I'm done building with this. By the way, make sure you make, like you need to have a box around your like where you're gonna have your things so basically like let's say this is gonna be a spongebob image we need to make sure that there's a box around it so you can fit your block in there like your decal or whatever it is your blocks so just so you know because if you don't have that then there's gonna be nowhere to put your thing just so you know okay guys so you should have like a little map around here now um let me look so what you're gonna need to do next is you're gonna need to make it like a little area for where you're gonna have your part so i'm gonna do like some diamond plate flooring you don't have to do this type of flooring um i'm also going to like place this around here so this is gonna be like where all the images will be and then what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna use this block and lower it you'll see why in a little but for now as you can see that's what i'm doing then I'm also going to want to make like an outing edge for this because you know, like it needs to have an edge for the parts for us. So I'll just jump around the images just like that. Let me also make sure everything is anchored. So if it's not just like go over each item, like I'll, I'll, I don't know, like outline it and then like all make sure everything is anchored. Just do that, all right? Now I'm also going to copy this window and I'm also going to place this in here. Um, so right there, I'm going to need to scale it. Um, I'm trying to make sure that these are all equal. Okay, now, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Now I'm going to scale it out more. And then move critical D. Um, if you say critical D, that's basically duplicating the part. Like if I do critical D, then critical D, and over, then over. And then critical Z is just like undoing it. Yeah. So um, this is where I'm going to have my images, all right? Now... Um, I'm not going to get into teleporting back to the spawn in this because that's going to require app I and local scripts. Well, maybe if you guys want a part two, if this video gets 10 likes, um, I'll do it. By the way, I am live streaming while making this video, guys. So basically, first of all, um, also make sure to like and subscribe to my second channel. This is where I'm going to be uploading the video. Um, here, let me see the chat sub here for the video when I'm done. Yeah, let me just copy that and then. So then they. Um, yeah, let me tell him, make sure to sub to my alt, too. That's where I upload these videos. Also, um, now you should be done making something like this, so 
what you're going to need to do now is you're going to need like a, make a little image all right so how are you going to make the image so you're basically um so yeah i'm gonna be going really easy um just so you guys can learn this now what i'm gonna do is you're gonna basically make this image and I'm going to make it white, all right? Now, I'm also going to make this plastic. So then, you know, like, you can see the image. Because if it's not white, then they won't be able to see the image. Now, I'm going to scale this all the way up. But not fully, fully. Then I'm going to duplicate this. Go here. And I'm going to put it up. So now... Um, it's basically going to have the roofing here. So, let me do that. Now I'm going to bring it all the way across right here. Now make sure you turn off cast shadows. If you do not turn off cast shadows, then it's basically going to have a shadow and everything's going to be super dark. So, just go ahead and turn off all cast shadows. Now here we go. And we will be making um, the first image. So, since we have to start off basic, I'm going to start off with, um, let's see... You should know Alvin from a, a show. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open this. So, you're gonna have to go into the marketplace. Make sure you're in the marketplace. Don't go in models. And instead, go into images. Now, I'm gonna have to look up Alvin. Alvin is a chipmunk. And as you can see, now we have Alvin, 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 Alvin. Um, I'm gonna use this Alvin right here. So, just click it. And then you'll have the the like you know like this uh, decal thing now you can put this into any part you want if you put it into any part you want it'll show up on that so as you can see this alvin decal is in my alvin block so now we have the alvin decal and the alvin block now we have to get into the scripting so we're going to go into service script service that is basically like the owner of all your scripts so in here i'm going to teach you about variables so local alvin is going to equal game.workspace.alvin. Now I'm gonna do the script and then I'll tell you about the, why I did all this. So yeah, as you can see, I'm doing it right now. Uh -huh. Now. Alright, then. Um. Alright, um, you might not understand any of this, but you will in a second. So, then I'm going to put, you may not understand most of this, but you will in a second. And I think you guys will like it a little. So, this is a lot of stuff right now, but don't worry, I will go over it all. So, here, this is what this basically means. So, it's basically, a local is like this one script. Local is basically the one thing. Now, I'm also going to name this script, um, I'm going to name it characters from movies so now the script is named characters from movies now basically you can also do this so boom and then alvin so this is basically telling you that everything below this is alvin uh this is not a part of the script this is just a comment if you put these two like weird line things then you know it's like ah yeah 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 you get what i mean um so and here if so here let me go over this local 
Alvin equals game. The game is basically the owner of workspace, the owner of players lighting, yeah, 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 on and on. All it is, basically. Then the workspace is the child of the game. So game.workspace, which the workspace is right here. So they call this the workspace, all right? So it's act like the game is here and everything under the game is here. And then we have workspace. Then we're going into the workspace to find the Alvin block, all right? So in here, I just messed up a little, I noticed. So local Alvin D, I'm just naming it that. Um, so basically Alvin and Alvin D, these are the names of our variable. So local means that, you know, it only works for that one script. Then we have Alvin. So local, so for the one script, name. For the one script, and name. So I name, I put a D at the end, like speaking like the ID basically. So I just put D, so game. So this equals game.workspace.alvin.alvin. Alvin. Now you might be like, why is there two Alvins? So it's basically before you might have known that game.workspace.alvin is the, it's just looking for the part Alvin. But game.workspace.alvin, Alvin, it's checking Alvin for something named Alvin. So as you can see, it, here's Alvin. And that's like, so here, here basically, game dot workspace dot alvin dot alvin so alvin would be the decal the last alvin now we get into the script so here's a comment it's just like it could be telling you where something is or how it works so now we have game dot players dot players added and let me tell you what this is so it's checking the game once again then it's checking players so the players is here and it's checking all of the players inside of the server also checking what the players are adding and then it's connecting a function oops it's connecting a function so what you do is you put this little weird thing here let me zoom in for you guys so basically it's this like it's a colon and then it's connect what the and then connect function in these brackets and then we have player so basically it's function delete so that you know how there'd be that one you delete that one then we're naming this function player now we're using this function so basically this whole thing is the just player now so now it's player dot chatted so that's checking if the player chatted then it's connecting another function named message so now if, it's like if the message or something equals something, then it'll do it. So if the message equals Alvin, make sure you put these brackets or else I might be looking for something else. Like if I did lol, then it's not gonna be anything. It's just gonna be nothing. It'll not work because it'd be no value. But if you put it in these brackets, then it's checking for what word it would be. And this would be Alvin. Alvin, just like that. So now, if message equals Alvin, then we want it to do something. So if you say then, and you do not have to put anything on these ends, they just automatically come. Then we have Alvin dot can collide. Can collide is basically saying like, if you can touch it, yes or no. So I'm setting it to false, so that means you cannot touch it. Then Alvin dot transparency equals one. That means you cannot see it. Now, Alvin D, now it's going to decal that means um it's doing 0 0.65 so it's like a light decal you can't really see it but you still can then we have wait three seconds and then it's going to basically undo all of that so alvin dot can collide equals true that means it can touch it again and then alvin dot transparency equals zero that means you can see it alvin dot transparency equals zero that means it can see it too so now if we go in here now, as you can see, here's my Alvin little thing. Now, if I say Alvin, as you can see, well, I need to make sure it's anchored still. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go right here. I'm just gonna type in alvin.anchored equals true. So basically that means that the whole time Alvin will be anchored, all right? Now, that is it. Um, here, just kidding, that is not it. Um, we're almost done. So what we need to do is we're gonna have to copy this because if we say something else, it will not work because it's only looking for the capital A. 
So now we just do this, Alvin, and then we do all caps, Alvin. And then, uh, yeah, you could do all of them if you want to be fully safe, but you don't have to. It's up to you because there could be like, as you can see, because if we do any other Alvin, let's say, um, watch. Alvin, it's not gonna work because we don't have that keyword up here. But if I say Alvin, then it works. Or if I say Alvin now, watch, now that works. Then if I say Alvin, in all caps, it also works. You can walk through it, you see the decal. Um, I'm actually probably gonna change this a little because it's like, it's way, way too like transparent. I have maybe like four or five or something. But um, that is how you make your own game like that. Um, I'll have my own, this game like linked in the description if you want to try mine. Oh wait, no, 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 no. Remember how I told you, you needed this at the top. Now let me tell you what you do with this. So I'm gonna make another part and then I'm going to put something on this part. You'll see it in a second, all right? I think you guys will like it. So you're gonna have to go to that part. I'm just gonna name it text. So you're gonna go in the text and you're going to add something inside of it. So you're going to add, well, you're going to need to add this really. So you're gonna go in the text, insert object, and you're going to insert a surface GUI. Now, the surface GUI is basically like a something on top of the surface of the block. Now a text box. So as you can see, the text box goes random places. Mine's right here. So I'm just gonna do this, this, and this. Now, you can make this as, as big as a size, but make sure you do this then. If you're gonna make this a huge size or something, you need to do this, all right? So first of all, you need to go to the text box, and you're going to need to make it so, um, watch go to the text color all right oh no 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 go to the, the text size or is that text size right here right under text scales and make the hugest you can and then you're going to make it so it literally scales across the whole thing so you're going to do size of this and then just like go crazy Go crazy, boys. Like, a thousand. Whoa, 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 whoa. Not that side, not that size. Chill, chill, okay, chill. Um, and here. So, go to the size inside of the text box. You can see, now it's down there. Then I can do, um, I think this is like 502. Oh, no, 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 no. It's 250 then, right? So you basically have to play around with the size. As you can see, now I have the text box. Also, now what you're going to do is you're gonna make it so the background transparency. So go ahead, click on text box again, because we're, look, we're looking in the properties of the text box right now. So right now what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to basically, um, let's see, I'm trying to find it. Text trans, no, no, no. It's, it's, it's supposed to be background. I don't think they deleted it. Ah, here we go. So um, right under background color, you can make sure this is fully zero. Now, I'm just going to go ahead and duplicate this because it'll make it easier for me. And then um, basically, now I'll just type in your text. So, and here I'm gonna do hard because this game mode is going to be hard. Oops, um, I mean, go down to the, hold up, it's supposed to be text, all the way under text, and I'm gonna name it hard. So now it says hard, and then here, I need to go in here, now I'm gonna scroll down, get to the text, and now I'm gonna type in cartoon. So now it's going to be like this. You'll, I think you'll like this, guys. So now let me just scale this smaller, you know. Um, just doing this. And then make sure this fits on here. If it doesn't, you might need to make it a bit bigger. So 
So we have cartoons. And we have hard right here. So basically, um, you don't have to do this. I just do it because it makes it look better. I just put this against the back. Um, what I usually do is I just make the transparency zero. So now all they see is the text. And then I usually make the other one also zero because I just don't want them to see that. So as you can see now it's just hard and now you can put them a lot closer. Okay, so now as you can see now, they're right next to each other. Um, they're all right against it. Now I'm going to make this a color. So to do that, go inside of this text because I want the hard to be red because you know, hard is always red. So I'm gonna go to the text color and I'm gonna make it red. Oh wait, no, don't go to that one. Go all the way down to the text stroke color. Now you're gonna make this red. And that should be, whoa. Oh no, it didn't even save. So go there and press, okay. As you can see, now I have hard. Because this game mode is hard. So now, let me just anchor all this. Press play. And now, everything is working, all right? Go over to cartoons. As you can see, it shows cartoons and hard. And if I go in here and say Alvin, I want to do um, Alvin, or I think it's, yeah, that's the one. As you can see, um, you can do all of them if you want. You don't have to. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. This is how you create your own uh, game. Now also, if you wanna add music, just go into the toolbox, go to audio, uh, let's just say Alvin and the Chipmunks music, cause why not? Add this in, you know, like wait for it to load. If that one doesn't load, I'll just, uh, or no, just take it in. No, 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 delete that one, delete that one. Get, grab that. As you can see now, it's Alvin and the Chipmunks. Go in here, click um, looped and make sure it's playing. Now when you join the game, you'll hear the cringiest music of your life right here. Um, ooh, uh, sometimes some music doesn't work, but um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. That was a long video, I know. But now you guys know how to make your own games like this and you can fully create your own cool game just like this. See you guys in the next tutorial. Get 10 likes and maybe I'll make it so there'll be more stages and I'll make more floors and teleportation things and fully make this a game. Um, See you guys in the next one. Peace.